Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, it is good to be back. All right, Keyshawn Davis calls out Frank Martin. We're going to get into all of that, what that means, and uh, obviously, well, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. There's a brand new episode of MCR Podcast up with me, Matt the Hipster Hunter, and the beauty of boxing. All um, um, we, we break down all the fights from the last two weeks. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Keyshawn Davis calls out Frank Martin. And, and, and obviously, you know, historically, this kind of call, is a, call out is a waste of time because fights like this don't get made, right? So Keyshawn Davis um, and, and Frank Martin are, are two top-notch, undefeated lightweights. Um, you know, Keyshawn Davis calls himself the businessman, and and, and he's, uh, you know, trying to talk himself into a, a big fight here, right? He's trying to handle his business here. Um, is that a fight that, you know, he he can... He, is his mouth writing a check? He, he can, he can cash. Um, his body can cash. I, I don't know. Um, look, obviously the fight, the odds of this fight getting made is zero, right? Like it's not going to get made. Not not at this stage. Not at uh, Keyshawn being twenty four. Um, and, and Frank Martin on the verge of a world title, right? So that's not going to happen. Um, but with, with with Ryan and Tank getting it on. It kind of gives you a little bit of hope that like cross promotional guys can put their young stars in the ring together, right? And, and, and Tank Davis isn't really any different in age than um, Tank Frank Martin. Tank very similar in age. Uh, Keyshawn and, and 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 Ryan Garcia are very similar in age. You know, everyone involved there is is undefeated. Um, but no, it, it, it's it, this fight's obviously not going to happen, right? But why not? Like, just make this fight. Make the fight. You know, if Frank Martin wins, great. If, if and Keyshawn Davis loses, so what? Right? Like, he's twenty four. He's eight. No, um, he wasn't ready for the fight. He loses. He loses. It's not a big deal. You come back, right? Like, if if, if I don't care if Keyshawn Davis lost to a guy. Well below the standard of Frank Martin. So what? Like he's still incredibly skilled. He'll be back. No big deal. Just you know, and I'm not saying I'm not picking a winner in that fight. Although I, 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 I'm not picking a winner in this fight. But if Keyshawn Davis lost at 24 years old and he, and he drops to eight and one, who cares? Lobachenko lost his second pro fight when he was fighting top notch guys, right? So what's the big like? What the big deal is? It's not a big deal. He'll be back. He'll be back. Um, and if Frank Martin lost, well, then, you know, it, it, it sucks, but you're probably not a world champion level fighter, but, um, you know, right now, Michelle, um, Frank Martin w- would be the favorite, right? He's got the win over Michelle Rivera, which is by far the, the best name either guy has on their resume, but then Frank Martin also has other high caliber wins. Jackson Marinez, Ramiro Dano, those those are good names, right? But Ramiro Dano, is he really any different than Anthony Egan? I mean, he's not that much different, right? Like that's that's kind of like those are comparable, those are comparable names. Ramiro Dano, Anthony Egan. There's not much difference there, right? So really, when we, you know, Frank Martin got twice as many fights, and we're gonna say that Frank Martin has you know the better wins and the much better resume, but in reality, it's not that much better. It's two names: it's Jackson Marinas, 
the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, and Michelle Rivera. That's what we're talking about. Those are the names we're talking about. This is not the greatest thing ever, right? Like, like the, the Rivera win is huge because it was so dominant, right? I think I had him winning every round. He dropped Rivera in the first round. It was a great performance, one of the best performances of 2022. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean a whole, you know. It, it's one win, is what I'm trying to say, right? Like the Jackson Marinas fight is a good win, and he dropped Marinas in that fight in the ninth and tenth rounds, I believe, right? So Frank Martin's got power. He's a master boxer, right? And he, he, you know, he may be the best guy in that weight class. But coming up is Keyshawn Davis, and like he's 24, he's not 19. Like he's physically strong. He's obviously skilled. He's got enough power. He's got six knockouts in eight fights. And you go through his resume, right? And, and obviously, he get was a big step up, right? Besides that, it's just Burgos. And that's really the only credible name on his resume. Um, Esteban Sanchez, Jose Zaragoza, and then it gets, yeah. So, they're using Zaragoza to lose to everyone. What I'm saying is, yes, he, Martin's got the better resume, but it's not that much better. Like, he's not that much more experienced, even though he's four years older. Like He doesn't have that many high-caliber names, right? So I, I think that the, the talent gap and the experience is, is, is a lot closer than you think. And if you think Keyshawn Davis would have no chance in this fight, that it's too big of a step up, I really think you're wrong. Well, I would argue, going through his resume, he's only fought one guy. Rivera, even on the level of Keyshawn Davis. And he dominated him. So kudos to him. And, you know, he trains with uh, Derek James, and it looks like Derek James can't miss right now. Um, the issue is uh, this fight has a 0% chance of getting made. It's not going to get made. There's a 0% chance. They're not even going to discuss it, right? But how is it that much difference? I, I get there's not the, the monetary appeal in that fight yet, right? Like, there's not the money that Garcia and Tank has in it, right? But does anyone think if Tank or Garcia lose that fight that their career is over? It's not, right? So why would the loser of this career be in any jeopardy? So just make the fight, right? Like, I, I get Frank Martin has a lot more to lose because he's on the verge of a world title. But, like, let's be real. So is Keyshawn Davis. I mean, they can – two more fights and Keyshawn Davis is uh, – you know, Keyshawn Davis is where Frank Martin was two fights ago. So two more wins and Keyshawn Davis, I think, is, is in position to fight for a world title. So, I mean, realistically, Keyshawn Davis could be fighting for a world title early in 2024, right? You find him again in uh, – when would you uh, – he just fought – Last weekend. Um, so let's say you fought Ke Keyshawn Davis. He fought in, in April. So you, you fought him again in August and you fought him again in December, something like that. Early August and then mid November, December, last card of the year. You get him to, you know, you step up and step up again. He's 10 and 0. Two more step up wins. He's fighting for a world title. That's not unreasonable, guys, right? So I I understand that this fight's not gonna happen. I understand that this is mostly for theatrics, but I think Keyshawn Davis would take the fight. I know he would, right? And I I think Frank Martin would too. And that's why it won't get made, right? Because it's such a good fight, it's such a high level fight. And neither neither promotional company, Top Rank or PBC, would want to risk their, their their fighters' undefeated record and, and risk their stock, but a win in that fight elevates your stock. So if you're confident in your guy, just make the fight. You know, I, I, I think ultimately they're not. I, I don't think a lot of times promoters know what they have in their fighters. And I, I don't think they think the, the juice is worth the squeeze, so to speak, right? Like, all right, if he wins, so what if he loses? But the loss is not going to set him back like you think it will. If Keyshawn Davis or Frank Martin took a loss to one or the other, it's not like they go into the pile of unknowns and misfits, right? Like, they'll still be there. They'll get a couple more wins, they'll be right back. You know, two more wins, and you're right back. So it's, it, it's a setback. It's, but it, it's it's not, like, career-threatening or anything. Um, so make the fight. 
top ranked PBC make the fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three Boxing, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is April eighteenth, twenty twenty three. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.